There is a great documentary series on Netflix called The Playbook. Check it out. The first episode is with basketball coach Doc Rivers. Doc was the head coach of the Boston Celtics when they finished 24 and 58. That's losing more than twice as many games as they won. It was the second worst in franchise history. The fans, the media, everybody was calling for the head of Doc Rivers. Then in the offseason, Doc facilitates some trades and acquires two perennial all-stars, Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. But now Doc has a new problem. He already has an all-star in Paul Pierce. Pierce was injured for seven weeks of the previous season, but is coming back healthy and raring to go. In essence, Doc has three testosterone-filled all-stars and big ego captains. All three want to be the de facto leader of the team, and trouble ensues almost immediately. So Doc is at a uh, non-basketball event, and a woman comes up to him and says, your team could be really great, she says, but only if they learn Ubuntu. Of course, Doc replies with what's probably in your head right now, what in the world is Ubuntu? She tells Doc to look it up. It's not a word, it's a way of life, she says. Ubuntu is the philosophy that Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu used to bring the war-torn people of South Africa back together. Its literal definition means, I am because you are. It embodies all the attributes of respect, helpfulness, sharing, community, caring, trust, and unselfishness. It is the recognition that we are all bound together in ways that are invisible to the eye. As Desmond Tutu said, a solitary human being is a contradiction in terms. You have learned everything that you are from other humans. There is a oneness to humanity. We achieve ourselves by sharing of ourselves with others and caring for those around us. Ubuntu says a person is a person through other people. I can't be all I can be unless you are all you can be. The better that you are, the better I am. Doc Rivers knew he had to get his superstars to buy into being a team. He said, if you want the ball all the time, you are on the wrong team. If you want to shoot all the time, you are on the wrong team. If you want to do what you want to do, you are on the wrong team. If we want to win, we have to win as a team. That means we are all going to have to sacrifice. We are all going to have to give something up of ourselves. We're all going to have to work hard. We're all going to have to change the way we are to become a great team, to become better together. He taught them Ubuntu. Later, Kevin Garnett is being interviewed after a game. The interviewer says, tonight you were just superb. And he quickly corrects her, not me, we. He continues with, I was only where I was supposed to be because somebody else was where they were supposed to be. We only win because we play as a team. Doc Rivers, leading through the spirit of Ubuntu, executed, quote, the most dramatic NBA turnaround ever, end quote. The Celtics finished with a record of 66 and 16 and posted the best single season turnaround in NBA history. They finished first in both the Atlantic Division and the Eastern Conference and achieved the league's best record. The 66 wins were also the third most in franchise history. But now they have to meet the top seeded champions of the Western Conference, their long standing and storied rivalry, the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals. But this time, the Los Angeles Lakers are being led by legendary coach Phil Jackson and the eventual Hall of Fame superstar shooting guard, Kobe Bryant. But through the power of Ubuntu, working together as a team, the Boston Celtics defeated Phil Jackson's and Kobe Bryant's Lakers four games to two in the 2008 NBA Championship Series. It had been 22 years since the Larry Bird era that the Boston Celtics had won a championship. Doc Rivers explained that the team lived Ubuntu. He said, if you brought something on the plane like food, you better bring food for everyone. There was no I in that team. It was always all. Do you know every genetic human being on the planet is more than 99.9% .9 the same? Yet it seems that we focus on that one-tenth of 1% 1 of how we are different and how much our one-tenth of 1% 1 is better than another person's one-tenth of 1%. 1 Think of how much potential we waste by not harmonizing 
leveraging and multiplying the power of that 99.9% of potential that is the same. As Desmond Tutu said, a solitary human being is a contradiction in terms. We are all part of the same species, part of the same tribe. If we had operated alone, we would have died. Rugged individualism would have made us extinct. We survived and we thrived because we banded together. And if we are going to continue to survive and thrive as a species, as a nation, as a community, as an enterprise, as a family, it will be because we come together and work together as a team, not alone, not only for our own self-promotion or only our own self-interest, and we will most likely perish if we only attempt to tear each other down. So remember Ubuntu, I am because you are. I can't be all I can be unless you are all you can be. The better you are, the better I am. So Darren Daily community, where do you need to imbued a bit of Ubuntu? in your micro tribes, your team at work, a sports team that you captain, a church group that you lead, a friend circle that you influence, or a family that you are responsible for at home. Tell us where you will build more Ubuntu in the comments below. As the great philosophers, the three musketeers said, all for one and one for all. United we stand, divided we fall. Hey, for those not yet united with us on the hero's journey, Enroll yourself, your teammates, your favorite friends and family now. Just go to heroesjourney.com. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in. Never give in, except to conviction of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the overwhelming might of the enemy.